Hello all, welcome to the Engine channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate this Ford digital tachometer. A tachometer is an instrument that measures the rotation speed of a shaft or disc. So in this case, I will demonstrate this RPM gauge speed meter with this drilling machine. So basically let's try to understand how to power up how this is principle of work and what is inside this box to make this operating okay if you see we can check in inside and then we can see the four digital display so basically it's very very simple have uh, two connector basically one is for the power that is a DC power that can accept 8 to 24 volts DC. The range of the tachometer is between 10 to 9999 RPM, meaning that rotations per minute. And as well, we have a second connector that is for the sensor itself. As you can see, we have the information that is how switch. Basically, the principle of work of this tachometer is through this how effect sensor. As you can see as well, together with the four digital display, we have the sensor that is a how effect sensor. If we open the plastic bag, we can see that the sensor is very similar to an inductive sensor industrial inductive sensor but this one will operate only with a magnet the magnet we can see that is come together with uh, two nuts and two washers so basically the magnet is together here so the sensor the how effect sensor will detect the magnetic field when have certain distance between the sensor and the magnet so meaning that if the magnetic field is enough for detection of the how effect sensor we will have the increment of the counter of the tachometer okay so basically we have the information of the sensor this one that comes together with the tachometer is NJK 5002C this one is uh, NPN sensor and as well is normally open. The max current is 300 milliamps and they can work between 12 and 24 vol volts DC. And as well, we have this parenthesis here that can operate between 4 to 36 volts DC. And how we can operate this one between 8 to 24 volts. Let's select 24 volts to operate this tachometer. Okay, so basically to use this 24 volts, I have a power supply here. So then we can make the connections with the power supply. Basically, I have as well here this connector right here. So we have the positive here and the negative here. And then we have the distribution for these three terminals in the left and other three terminals in the right with the blue color and this one with the orange color. Okay, let's proceed with the connections. Let's put the positive, the red, wide. And as well the negative with the black wide. And then the next connection will be for the sensor itself. Basically for this one, we have already a connector, so we don't need to take care about what is the pins regarding for the connection. As you can see, we have the negative that is represented by the blue wire and as well the black wire that is the signal. And as well, we have in the right 
the brow while that is for the positive. So let's proceed with the connection. Okay. So that's it. The sensor is already connected. So let's power up the power supply. And let's see what we will have. So basically, when we start, we can see that we have this indication of L. Probably means that it's low. So as we don't have any detection in the sensor, so we have this L indication. However, if we have this detection here for the sensor, we can see that we have an indication of the RPM. So depends on the frequency of the de detection, we will have more indication regarding for the speed. Okay. So now let's try to make the connection uh, with the drilling machine, but prior of that I would like to show that we have some indication here and as well we have some difference between the north pole and the south pole of the magnet. So depends of the magnetic pole of the sensor we will have difference between the detection or not. So as you can see the opposite pole is will be attractive by the south pole so means that this one is the north pole so if we approach the north pole we can see that nothing will happen but if you turn for the south pole then we can have this detection of the how effect sensor okay so basically this how effect sensor will only works with the south pole so let's check again directly with the magnet with the salt pole to confirm so with the salt pole we have the indication but with the north pole we don't have any detection of the how effect sensor as you can see nothing will happen so this is important because if you use the wrong polarity of the magnet we don't have the proper work of the tachometer okay so let's attach the magnet here in the drilling machine let's put here in the center need to be very careful because here i don't use any type of fixation instead of the magnetic field so this is very dangerous so take care if you do this by yourself in this case i already tested so the magnetic force is enough to keep the magnetic here in the drilling machine so let's try to test if the polarity is okay or not as you can see nothing happened meaning that the polarity is wrong so if if i reverse then for the south pole then we're supposed to have this indication of the tachometer okay let's test for the opposite side maybe it's the opposite side Here, this is the correct correct side okay so we can see as well that there is the indication but it's not very strong we can see there is a red LED in the in the sensor that is detecting the magnetic field okay so this is the correct position so to make the detection instead of hold with my hand i will use this support right here so this bracket with this uh, plate 
with this hole. This is proper for this switch off sensor. You can find out to sell. Unfortunately, it doesn't come together. You need to purchase separately. Then you need to put the first nut. And then the washer and then you can put in the hole and the second washer and as well the nut to make the proper fixation So we need to be very careful because if you don't put the correct way of the nut, we can have a problem to make the fixation. Okay. So now it's it's fixed. I will tight with my hand. No no need to do too much strong. And then let's approach for in front of the magnet make some consider distance maybe five millimeters or something like that let's check for don't don't cr make contact with the magnet you need to have some space okay then we can see the indication of the rpm right here now stop to move so if i move with my hand i can see that we have some indication okay and now let's power on the drilling machine now we have some big noise right now so i will move the microphone for don't have this interference when i talk okay let's starting the drilling machine So now we are running the drilling machine with uh, 1300 RPM. So means that we have the RPM tachometer working properly. I will try to make some adjusts here. I reduce the speed right now. So we can see that we have some changes in the RPM meter and let's try to increase. So basically you have the change, so means that the sensor is responding accordingly with the increase of the speed of the drilling machine. Now reducing for a very low speed. You can see around 380 RPMs. So basically that's it for this video, I hope that you enjoy this demonstration of this digital tachometer. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more content like this and see you soon.